Why, hello, all you wonderful people. Today we are going to be doing a review and first impression of the Bellamy hair extensions that are here on YouTube and are now quite famous. I received my hair extensions yesterday and I got the Bella Bina, I believe that's how you say it, hair extensions. They are 160 grams. Uh, they are 20 inches long and I got mine in the shade dirty blonde and they do match quite well believe it or not um when you first open the package that they send you you get a regular size packaging and it's like this big it's like this um at the very bottom there are two little one clip extensions they're what they call the testers so you can see if they are your hair color or not and if you like the hair, if you think it'll work for you, so you do not um, undo the top packaging. And if that is undone, then the warranty is void and you can't send them back. So test out the testers first, see if you like them, and then work into the actual packaging. Um, I, however, did not do that. I just went straight into the packaging. So if it didn't work, it didn't work. But I was just way too excited to not try it out. So I risked it for the biscuit and it worked for me, thankfully. Um, when you get into the actual packaging, you are going to get then two more extensions in the one clip. So that makes four in total. They look just like this. Again, they are 20 inches long. So they come to like right under my boob area. For those of you that were wondering, they come like... Uh, I guess you really can see it, but like a little bit underneath my boob area. Unfortunately, I'm sorry if that's TMI. Um, and then when you get more into the packaging, you get two of the two clip hair extensions. They're a little bit wider and a little bit more spaced out. One of them has a slight wave to them because I did curl and wear them the other day or today. Um, so they look like this. They are still super soft even after curling them and using a sheet protectant on them. So they look like this. And then you get two of the three clips. The three clips, again, just look like this. And again, this one has a slight, the, the back one has a slight wave to it because I did curl it. It looks really natural in my hair when I do curl it, and you can't tell that I am wearing extensions, so that is a major plus. Um, and then you get two of the four clips. Now, one of the four clips, as you can see, is longer, and the longer one can go more into the crown of your hair. The longer one looks like this. They're more spaced out towards the end, and closer together in the middle. Um, this is the one that I wear the most. As you can see, I wore it today because it has a slight weight in it. Now, I wear mine in the two, three, four, like an upside down triangle with the, with the testers or the one clips, like in here, because I do have layers in my hair, so it just makes it look a little bit more natural. But, when I have all of them in, you cannot tell that I have extensions in my hair because the colors blend so well together. Like the strut, like the dirty blonde has not just one whole color in it. It has quite a few different colors. It seems like mixed in with it. They are like highlighted. Is is what it looks like to me. But they are super soft. They are double drawn, so they are as thick on the top as they are at the bottom. So you can't tell any difference. They are one long length and they are the same thickness. So we don't have the problem of getting ratty, stringy, ugly looking extensions if we wear them over and over again. I've already brushed these, I've already um, used a heat on them with a heat protectant and they still look wonderful. They don't seem to shed for me that I've noticed so far. I do store them with the 
um, storage kit that they have. It is a little hanger, and it looks like this. And it comes with what looks like a tiny garment bag for your hair. I keep mine hung up in my closet with the rest of my hangout clothes. And if I want to wear them, I just bring them down. Uh, I find this way they don't get tangled. They don't get messed up by laying them on something. And they're just smooth. Um, I do brush them when I do think they need it. Um, the website did say that with proper care they can last a year if not longer so that's what I'm hoping to um I wouldn't wash these unless you absolutely need to because yes they are real human hair they are not attached to a human head so they don't produce the oils that we have and protect our natural hair from a day to day basis now without this extra hair my hair is so dull and lifeless and just lays flat on my head that I look like I have no hair. It looks like this bun that I have is just gone. It's just not there. But this makes the world of difference. Like, I want my hair to be bigger. The bigger the hair, the closer to God. Like, I want my bun to be checked by TSA. That is a life goal of mine. Um, sorry girl for the win, I guess, on this one. But, I will get back to you and I will give you more reviews as I take these through my formal recruitment for my sorority and I'll let you know how they hold up to heat protectant, heat styling, brushing and all of that and see how long I can wear them without them feeling like they're falling out because they are just a clip and my hair is really thin so we'll see how that goes. But I, all in all, think these are really good hair extensions for the money that you pay. I mean, I got 160 grams worth of hair for under $200, including my storage kit. So that was a really good deal to me. And it came pretty quickly. Uh, there was only a slight delay in South Carolina, but I blamed the post office. And if that was not the case, then they would have been here in under five days. So that is really well, I think, and I plan to order from them again. So I hope you guys review or like this first impression review video, and I hope to see you soon. Bye, guys.